Welcome, everyone is a Oppo A15s and today I will show you how we can go through the setup process of this phone. So when you boot it up for the first time you should be presented with well, the screen right over here where you get to select your desired language. Now I will be sticking with English which is selected by default so I need to only press next. Now here we can select our region. So I'm just going to select whichever one and then we have terms of service. So obviously you can tap on the text right here to read exactly what you're agreeing to, uh, but at the end of the day you do need to agree to the user agreement. Um, this is the only thing you need to agree to. Uh, the two other ones are optional, which you can see like right over here and here. So you can skip those. Next page, we have Wi-Fi connection page. Uh, so obviously you can connect to your Wi-Fi if you want to. Uh, this is completely optional, so if you don't want to, you can skip this. Additionally, you can also insert your SIM card to use your mobile network instead. And if you choose to skip both of those, uh, you won't see a Google login page throughout the setup process. And additionally, date and time won't be set automatically. So I'll be skipping it here. Now, one thing that is nice here, even though I didn't connect to it, it asks me if I want to enable this feature, automatically select a best Wi-Fi, which basically chooses the best Wi-Fi from your list and that you actually can connect to. Uh, so whichever one is faster, the device will choose that one. And once enabled, it also gives you the option to switch to mobile network if whatever the Wi-Fi in your area that you can connect to uh, suck. It will automatically switch to the mobile network instead. Now, this option seems to be uh, good, but if you have a low data plan on your mobile network, I probably would discourage you from enabling this. It might just dry it up a little bit quicker, uh, run through that gigabytes faster than you might be used to so just keep that in mind now next page we will have google services so we have services like location scanning and sending user and diagnostic data so quickly going into each one of these we have location which allows uh, applications like google maps as an example to gain your location so it gives you uh, an accurate route to your destination if you're using it as a gps tracking Below that we have uh, allow scanning, which allows the device to look for signals like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And below that we have uh, send user and diagnostic data, which allows Google to gather data on you and send it to themselves. So I'll say no thanks to that one. And the next page we are able to set up our screen lock. So if you want to set it up, you would select settings. If you want to skip it, you would just select later. Now for setting it up, uh, as you can see, it automatically opts into a six digit pin. You can tap right here to change it into pattern, uh, four digit pin, four to 16 digit pin, or alphabetical password. I'm not even gonna go into the uh, passwords because that should be named pin, but whatever. I'll be selecting pattern for this. So I need to draw my pattern and repeat it. There we go. And then it automatically also rolls into the uh, face recognition. So if you want to use uh, face recognition, you are free to do so. Uh, you can only use it once you actually set up a, a pin pattern password. And if you're planning to not use it, just stick with the physical way of unlocking and skip it right up here. And next thing, it also asks me if I want to add a fingerprint at the back. I'm also gonna skip this by selecting cancel. And this goes further to recommend it auto update overnight and home screen icons. So this is just a more of a style with the home screen icons. You can choose which ones you want. Uh, tap on them to view the difference between them. And go back with the automatic uh, update overnight. Just basically updates the device when you're sleeping virtually. So anyway, can go to the next page, uh, which allows us to import our data from an old device. Now this will be using some kind of uh, proprietary application from Apple. So if you're planning to utilize it, you will need to download that application on your older device, assuming it is not also Apple uh, phone. Uh, if it is, uh, the application comes pre-installed in it, so you don't need to worry about that one. And once you go through it, it simply tells you what to do, so you don't need to worry about that one. It's fairly simple and straightforward. And now I'm setting it up as new, so obviously I'm going to select later and then get started, which will finish up the setup. And there we go. So 
If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.